John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Heavenly Father, we love you, and we pray for your intercession here. Please help us to grow closer to you, and also help us learning about the helium atom Bohr model. In Jesus' name, amen. Helium, and we're going to be able to look at the periodic table and determine the atomic mass which is the mass of the atom, also the number of protons and neutrons in an atom, the atomic number, which is the number of protons, which have a positive charge by the way, then we're also going to determine the number of neutrons. And we determine that by taking the atomic mass number, the rounded atomic mass number, minus the atomic number, and that gives us the number of neutrons. Pretty easy so far. Helium. The atomic mass number is 4.002. So we write 4.002. Well, we actually don't have to point the, write the point 0, 0, 002 because we have to round it. Since it's, it's below 0. 0.5, it just becomes 4. Then we take the atomic number, which is 2. subtract it out and 2 is atomic number so that's the number of protons 2 protons 4 minus 2 is 2 neutrons please remember the first letter is a capital H second letter is a small case E I'm going to go ahead and write that a little bit bigger for us Now, over on the far left-hand side is the, number, uh, the period number is 1. I just wrote these numbers alongside here. Sometimes they don't, on um, periodic tables, don't have them. You just have to look on the left-hand side margin. Period number 1. So how many energy shells do we have, or circles? Period 1, one shell. So draw your one circle, or one shell. Now, how many protons does, hel uh, does helium have? It has atomic number of two, so that means that you had two protons. Two, P. Then we calculated uh, the number of neutrons was four minus two. It goes two neutrons. Now, if we have two protons, how many electrons do we have? You're correct, two. So we put on two electrons. Now, to do our formula, we have negative two electrons plus positive two protons equals zero net charge. <coughs> and there we have our answer. This is a helium atom Bohr model and you'll see how the red is for protons, blue is for neutrons, and the paper clips or binder clips are for electrons. You have two uh, protons in the center, two neutrons, and two electrons. Please notice that the charges is negative 2E plus positive 2P equals a zero net charge. The reason we have two electrons is because we have atomic number two and the number of protons and electrons is equal for atoms on the periodic table. Helium is the only atom with a full shell of two electrons. All the other atoms are full with eight electrons on its outermost shell, fulfilling the octet rule. Helium is kind of the oddball. It has two electrons on its only shell, and it's full with two electrons. Now we're going to focus in on the nucleus of the atom. I, in the back, those are supposed to represent electrons. And so what we do is we kind of put this together in a fashion like this. Making the nucleus, it's kind of sort of like that. It's not a static thing. Those things are moving all over the place trying to get to uh, balance and equilibrium. So that's a nucleus. Two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. 
number of electrons determined by how many protons.